And hello, welcome back to the stream. Today we are on a nice Monday after the nice Sunday, which I don't stream, and uh, we're playing the Outer Wilds. Uh, we're still playing the Outer Wilds. I know yesterday we or on Monday, no, wait, uh, Saturday I played the Outer Wilds along with Fire Emblem. So today would normally be the Outer Wilds day, but we already played it some. But um, I like it, so we're gonna keep playing it. Even okay, so one second, let me get the uh. The old OBS starting to try and attempting to capture this, uh, just so that we're not sitting around doing nothing. Or while I ram, oh, it went pretty quick this time because I didn't change the uh, capture thing this time. Anyway, um, yeah, this game very good. Um, having not beaten it, what I can say for sure, this game is probably one of the greatest of its what. <gasps> I'm trying to say is the, uh, it does, is that this is probably one of the best exploration games I've ever played. Uh, we're not really doing anything. We're running around in space, just kind of figuring stuff out, uh, which is cool and all. Um, by the way, uh, this still says there's more to explore here. I don't know what that means. Uh, but yeah, we're not really doing anything. Which is fine, uh, but just cool, you know, fun running around, working within like the 20-ish, 25, 30 minute time window you have in each time loop. So yeah, just exploring in and of itself is a fun thing. All right, is lock on going to work? So something, so going to mouse and keyboard uh, temporarily fixes the problem. So good to know. So we're going to the interloper. Uh, because there are two things uh, we need to do that kind of require us to wait. First is we need to go to the uh, Aswin. Um, and wait for the sand to properly lower down to the point that we can go into the sun tower so we can look go or the sun teleportation tower so we can go to the sun tower. Um, the other is we need to go to the interloper and wait for it to get close to the sun so we can go inside the interloper and not get killed by Ghost Manor this time. Um, there's still some stuff we need to do. We, like, we need to go finish exploring the city on the Crimson Twin. Um, and realistically, we need to go back to the White Hole as well because there was stuff to still explore there. But uh, for now, we're gonna do two little waiting things first, just so I can get them over with. There's probably gonna be other waiting things we have to do later anyway. Uh, I just like to get the two that I know of done now. We still have to do two. Three, we still have to do three whole more planets, which is uh impressive. I assume that right there is where we're gonna enter. Yep. We always do a hard landing and it works out fine anyway. So, I guess right here. Yeah, I, I think this is where we're gonna... When we get close to the sun. What's that? Uh... Oh, that's Timber Hearth. Okay, I was about to say, it looked like some sort of extra satellite of, uh, of Brittle Hollow, which we also, so again, we haven't been to Brittle Hollow, or Dark Bramble, or Giant Steep, um, or the Ghost Moon. What's the DLC, by the way? Because there's the, D what's the DLC called again? It's the one that, it, uh, the Echoes of the Eye thing, is, that's the DLC. What is that? What does that entail? Something scary? The only thing we've seen scary-esque is, like, the dark ramble picture teleportation thing we saw uh, when we went through the seed and, uh, Timbered Hearth and, uh, I guess the anglerfish on, uh, the Crimson Twin. All right, here it comes. This is what we were waiting... Oh, okay, so it's... 
I thought it was gonna melt down, but you know, it just creates a uh It's not how that works at all. Alright, well anyway, we're here again. Uh once we're done here, we'll probably just uh Um, is my ship getting dragged into the sun? That's unfortunate. Uh, but as I said, when we're done, oh. Uh, when we were done here, I was gonna say we're just gonna go and die. I don't know what the quickest way to do it. We could just, whatever. Um, I'm receiving some much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is, must be I somewhere below, closer to the comet center, and I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Uh, Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy reading. Oh, I guess I can die to the ghost matter, huh? I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Maybe there's certain places with ghost matter where it's less dense, so we're able to go through it. I could see that being something. Uh, so we need to equip the scout launcher photo mode. What about over here? Right, because if we go back over here, I guess we're just exploring here for the time being. We got time. Yeah, that's, that's what we're looking out for, that little haze. There's ghost matter here, but not any... Uh, oh shit, go back. All right, yeah, we have to just be very mindful of ghost matter. And because we're on ice, uh, we have to deal with the fact that we're gonna be very slippery. Yeah, okay. Mindful. I might have picked the right direction, huh? Okay. Ghost matter detected nearby. Yeah, I see that. There's... Um... Quite the stuff down there, huh? There's something else up here? Uh... Is this comet where the ghost matter is from? Okay, real quick first. Um, granted, we, uh... Send our, uh, probe down here. Oh, that generates light. That's cool. I wish you could more manually fly the scout. That'd be nice. What is that? Looks like a huge chunk of ghost matter ore. Right? Maybe a frozen seed? Yeah, it could be a frozen seed from the, uh... The, uh... Ramble Thor, whatever it's called again. Uh... Uh... Dark Bramble. Uh, Clip Scout Launcher. Retrieve. Photo Mode. Okay. All right, yeah, this is just an obstacle course, clearly. Oh, we're, we're getting there, slowly. Where the hell am I? Hey, 
Danger ghost matter. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go down there. Um. Is that the same room? Just from a different angle? Yeah, I think we're just circling around. Oh, okay. A know me with a uh, dark matter on it can't really examine the corpse can I oh it's zero G in here it's right we're at the, uh, the the center of the interloper. Okay. Uh, is that where I came from, or Wait, where did I come from? There, right? Is there another entrance? I don't see any. Uh, okay. Know me. I'll lock onto that, get a little closer. Alright. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what's within the stone and detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is mutating our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this uh, casing, but it's all that's protecting us from. But it's all, all that's protecting us from what's inside works still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Hi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compact before. What is this? This is, is the orders of magnitude worse than I've imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. The pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know that we're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I'll learn about what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. So this is this is where the ghost matter is from. Is there anything else to learn here? Wait, there's something down there. Oh no, that was just some light reflecting off the ghost matter. Uh. So they did rupture the casing. So that they could, or one person did, so they could study it. They're obviously, all the Nomi are dead. So, yeah. Okay, want to touch it? Not doing anything. Um. Okay, I guess this is kind of creepy. Um, this this deadly s substance. Um, the only thing left is there was a, two other paths we could try to go back to. It's going to be a bit of a path back. I don't know if I have the fuel for this. I'll also have to be quick, kind of, because we don't have that much oxygen. So we'll, I guess we'll see if we can manage. Go back up this way. Oh, we're near the sun go. And we're dead. Okay, well... I don't know if there's anything else nearby that we need to do, um, but I guess it will say if there's more to learn there. Uh, it's not that long of a wait, too, and it's pretty close to the entrance. Because there is that other ghost matter path at the beginning. There's definitely going to be at least some one other thing in there, isn't there? Right? So you go back to the uh, interloper again. <gasps> 
Hey, but hey, we, we did something, that's for sure. So just, we need to see, definitely just need to see if there's something else we can learn there first. And then after, if not, we go to the, uh, the win. Two missing members of the military is a strange enemy research. Examiners will plead the wonder if you've heard so much erupting. After expanding, creating a village, almost one of them we see behind the enemy. Uh, doesn't say there's anything else here. But it's only spanking specifically to the ruptured core. I mean, I have to check, right? I have to. There's two other paths that we didn't see leading to anywhere else. Because at this point, this game is all about leave no stone unturned. Again, the interloper makes it there in reasonable time. I just have to manually circle the sun because uh, the interloper starts on the exact opposite side of the sun of us, so we crash into it if I left it up to the autopilot. So we go about here. Good enough. Hey, sun. How's it going? Go back around. Yeah, I think our ship got dragged off by the gravity of the sun, which is funny. But again, we could just die to the ghost matter, so it's no big deal. A thousand meters per second, so we go a kilometer a second. Yeah. Hey, White Hole, how's it going? I don't really have anything to do with you, unless I want to wait a long, long time. As soon as we're in, like, the area of the White Hole, and we find that we have some time left, we can come back to the White Hole. But until that moment, I don't think so. It'll write itself eventually. So does the ship get damaged? I keep seeing this. Master alarm da yeah, I imagine so, right? Oh wait, there is a fuel thing. Oh, does the ship actually have fuel? That's not something I problem I've run into as of yet. Anything else? O2? Temp? Is that some relevance to the sh the sun? Yeah, I never use this. Um, the stress beacon? Oh, that was the, uh, the, um, the, what's it called? The, uh, the, the crash ship on the Crimson Twin. We go through, we have one here. That's short, right? Um, unknown, unknown. But shouldn't Dark Bramble have the same thing? Or is Dark Bramble? Over there. Yeah. Um, Quantum Fluctuations, Cave Shard, unknown. Museum shard, grove shard, unknown, none there. Oh, it's going down. All right, we can we can look at some uh, stuff later. And then I guess real quick we could just the stress beacon. Is there only the one? No, there. There is another the stress beacon. Escape pod. Oh, it is called Escape Pod 2. Okay. They're kind of in the same vicinity, though. Um, and then Deep Space Radio. Radio Tower. Yeah. Unknown. Okay, there... Out of Wild Ventures? Yeah, we know what that is. 30... 
thousand meters. Uh, I want to go check that out. Okay, but we need to go one of these two directions now. Um... Take us somewhere different. I assume this is gonna be... Ah, shit. Oh, I lived. Oh, is this just a loop around and I've wasted my time? Okay, I've just wasted my time. Great. All right, well, just give me kill, please. I will, I will get ghost mattered. Um, deep space radio. Hmm. Okay. Um. Sure. We have it. We have, again. We have another uh, escape pod to find. Okay. I I don't imagine it's that, is it? I mean, maybe it is. not the thing. Where- Deep Space- There's the one on the planet. Where's the other one? Okay. Do I want to go to that? Lock onto it. Yeah, what's this? Oh, this might be the... Oh, is this the... This is the... The satellite that's orbiting the whole solar system? So that they have always have a, uh... A kind of a picture of what the solar system looks like? Okay, autopilot. Catch back up. Yeah, I guess that's cool. It's just right over here. Shit. Went flying past it. Come back here. Alright, perfect. Good job, autopilot. Is there anything else? That. Oh, did we? We repaired one of these. Looks like it's damaged or something. Okay, get a little closer. Yeah, it does look damaged. Right, velocity matched. Deep space satellite, yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're staying velocity matched, right? Yeah. Stick on to that. A little closer. A little closer. So just we're as close as possible. Gonna be as close as... Nope. Gonna be as close as possible. Alright, here we are. The Deep Space Radio. I don't know what this... Looks like there is something here. Play recording. Gabro yeah, here, checking on the Deep Space Satellite per uh, ground control's request to check out uh, possible equipment problems. See, Hornfell's like do to work. You know, I wasn't mind being a satellite. It's peaceful out here among the distant stars and soft velvety darkness, but it bet it's awfully nice for naps too. Oh right, the lens. Alright, little satellite, let's see what the trouble is. Uh, everything looks okay, ground control. No dust or scratches on the lens, and no evidence of sparking or violent explosions. Guess that rules out an equipment malfunction after all. Yeah, that pal, you're in great shape. Keep up the good work out here. Okay. The, the degrees upon which the satellite is viewing the solar system. Anything else to, rec to record?
radio tower. Any other deep space satellite stuff? That's, that's Hearth right there. All right, well. Keep up the good work, I suppose. Make my life easier. That back on. All right, uh... All right, hopefully, actually, we wasted enough time here to, if we go back to the Hourglass Twins... Um... Uh, it's getting pretty close to the uh, Sun Teleportation Tower being where I want. Right? I see a deep space radio. It was nice knowing you. Can I now click on it. I mean, theoretically, yeah. Um, it doesn't seem like there's much use to go there except for that one little thing. Uh. Yeah, fortunately, this solar system isn't that big, realistically. We're able to get around pretty damn quick. Right, so we're looking for the sun tower. We need to go in as soon as possible. Is that what it right there? Port autopilot. Yeah, it's it right there. Uh, go, go, go. It are, in fact, it already looks like it's about perfect. Crash landing. Don't care about the ship. Don't care about the ship. Get out. Where, where is it? Over here. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 okay. Perfect timing, really. Oh, did the ship get damaged? That would be a first. Okay. We need to do this properly so we don't have to wait again. Okay, it's fine, fine. We can, we can take a couple hits. A couple hits is fine. And also, we don't really need to boost. We can just use regular... God damn it. Okay, actually boosting makes it easier. Okay, here we are. I'll wait for it to point to the sun. Assumingly, it's not destroyed. That we're here about as soon as we can possibly be. I think we can be here a little sooner, but pretty damn close. Where's the sun? Come on. Come on, sun, please. Okay, it's getting brighter. Perfect. There it is. I see it. Warp us. Okay, uh, so we don't have much time here at all. Uh, so we need to be quick. Damn quick. Uh, to go and increase solar activity, detect the sensation, hole integrity, approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. Uh, years ago, no use your hand for you, 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. Uh, warning opens emergency doors. Oh. When we go out there, we die. Yeah. Oh, no. Go. Go, 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 go. In here, in here. Okay, we're in. I thought we were gonna die. Uh, mission science compels us to explode the sun. Wait, what? Can we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible event is even possible. Or an irresponsible event is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission, determine if it's possible for the sun to explode. We lack a sense of humor. At least I can, don't lack a sense of ethics. I only frame going supernova on me before the sun does it, Dana. Okay, so they did that on purpose. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, do not fall into the... Okay, there's, assumably there's glass. Uh, I 
promise until substation is set by two minutes. Uh, I promise until Star's death, 14 minutes. Okay. Or has reached the end of natural life cycle. Now approaching Red Dinosaur to evacuate Sun Station. Uh, two minutes. When? Wait, I don't. Does this do anything? What happened? Did the Sun Station not fire? Yarrow, uh, it fired Yarrow, but it failed the Sun barely respond. There was an incessant response from Sun Station, but we're going to the third eye. Um, Sun Station is usually, it will never and could never cause the Sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we should start over. I'm not sure how to start over. Return to Ashford first, my friend. Perhaps to change that until someone is coming approaching the source and we'd like to investigate. Uh, all right, I will hurt you, my friends. We are hard now and hard for as well as well as affecting the circumstances of the time is something that we should always fail and hope our terrible work is finished. Um that was, is that all the tier? Because I don't think I have much time left. Put this down over here. What's this do? This is the head thing from way back in the mines. Um Maybe those things are things we need to fill up for us to successfully stop the sun station from going, uh, causing the sun to explode or whatever. Or they said it was the end of the natural life cycle. Maybe we need to do something with the sun station to make it so that uh, the sun station stops the sun from exploding. Well, there's something up here too. Shit. Uh, one of these statues. Uh, anything else? No? No, no other scroll? Okay, I think we did what we can do. We, we possibly can do more here later. But for now, I think we've done... Uh... uh okay, I, I was like, is there something there? Again, I'm just doing another cursory... How is it not exploding yet? Didn't it say like two minutes? It's been way longer than that. Is time slower in this game? It's only been half my time. All right, I guess we get to get a more than a cursory glance. Um, I'm excited. We're, we're, we're dying here, by the way. I don't really have, I don't, eh. I want to go over this again, because I was going really fast here before. Just examine it a little slower. So if I ever failed to stop barely respond, there was a small surface little change, but failed to look into their eye. Uh, what happens when they not fire? So you just never, never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what the I'm going to start over. I'm going to ask my partner. Um... So they were trying to figure out how to make the sun explode, but they failed. Maybe it can be used to, I, again, my assumption is we can use it to stop the sun from exploding. And what does this tell me? One, two, three. Oh. Okay. Uh. I see the claws now clipping into the sun. Oh, yeah, we're taking heat damage and we're dead. Okay, cool. So, I think, again, I think we learned everything we could learn there for the time being. So, next thing is to go back to the underground city. Which is easy. I think I remember to go left. Uh, yeah, we go left, right? Pretty easy to get back there, I think. All right, anyway. Is there anything else we need to do on this planet? I, I mean, I assume there's different things we still need to do on different planets, even if we've already explored planets like this one. Here. Okay, it doesn't say there's anything else to do here. And if it's natural life cycle. Cool. Um, there's more to explore here. Are you sure? Was one of them locked or something? 
Uh, yeah, we're going back to the Sunless City now. Fire the jets. Let's get out of here. Uh, give me the Hourglass Twins. Fly. Oh, yeah, we should be able to make this with time to spare. Hey, I'm glad we finally get to explore that thing. It was kind of bugging me this whole time because, like, I, I saw all the things circling the sun. I was like, how do I interact with it? Whenever we're done, uh, when we're done, uh, exploring the, uh, Sunless City, we can do a double check on the hours here. To s I forget one of them was locked. Past the Ash Twin. Alright, so we want to be... Yeah, right about... Right about here. Wow, the perfect flying right that right there. It'll settle. Alright, uh, so... Over here... No, 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 okay, uh... A little less, uh... Stellar flying, if I do say so myself. I can't see anything. Alright, land here. Where the hell am I? My ship's over there? Okay, that means we do need to head in this direction. Too, uh, cocky there with my uh, zipping to the um, objective. Uh, so let's not do that again. Uh. Oh. Stream lagged out there for a second. I don't like to see that. Could you uh, fix yourself? All right, looks good now. Anyway, um, back to Ember Twin. Yes, back to Ember Twin. Let's get out of here. We still have three plants. I want to go to this. We're probably going to go to the Dark Bramble, I think. That's the next place I kind of want to go check out. Nope. Autopilot. And we don't really have much left to do with you, if anything at all. I guess there was that outpost that saw the Phantom Moon. I guess, because it orbits all the planets. Maybe there's something to do there with that. But then again, I'm assuming there's something to do with that on every planet. It also has um, those teleporting rocks. So, that too as well. Okay, right there. Not quite as good flying as last time, but uh, still not bad. All right, we'll settle. Okay. Uh. Yeah, right down there. This time we're gonna shoot like this. All right, much better. Much better. Much more uh, concise concisely effective. So, um, I, I think we can turn the lights on when we got to the city, so we want to do that when we get there first thing first. And then we want to explore from the bottom up. And I think that's the last thing we need to do on here, except for figuring out how to get to the... to the anglerfish, which I don't know how to do. I guess we'll figure it out. 
I remember all this. I don't think there's anything down there. Through here, we go up here. Yep, over here. Could these guys breathe in, in a vacuum? Or that'd be cool, I guess. Oh, right over here. Um, but I doubt it. They have spacesuits. And just be precise. Nope, nope. There we go. Alright, we're back. Welcome back to the Sunless City. So again, first things first, I'm pretty sure these turn the lights on. We go to the bottom. Here. We don't need to go this way. So we go here. Anything in here? Nope. Just. Just bones. All is never. Only ever bones. What does what Cortana say at the end of Halo 1? Nothing but dust and echoes. Um, well, at least this gives us a berth to work with. I'm... Okay. Um, I see something over there. I guess there's also something here. Yeah. We're just, we're just looking for stuff. Or uh, specifically more... More specifically, just written texts of kinds. Broken. Oh, we found something. Are you playing the fossil fish game tonight? Are we, are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? I fled the fossil fish in... I fed the fossil fish in New Lantern. If you go to the stamping, Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance of the fossil fish cave is very easy to see now. Stepping Stone Cave. Gratitude, Solium. Solemnium. It's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the Anglerfish Out Overlook. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long, Mom and Dad are tall as you, and I will be tall too. Because that's a hint to where getting into the Anglerfish places. Stepping Stone Cave? I do not know of such a place. Uh, remaining in the fossil fish can't play the game if you're too big to climb through the over. You're too big to f climb in through the anglerfish overlook hole. Not through the long way, but it isn't far. Go to the stepping stone cave and then up into the fossil fish cave. I tried to get the fossil fish through stepping, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Learn to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to anglerfish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Or I can't fit the anglerfish overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levi now. There's it, it looks it's still tallest. So if we throw our scout into the anglerfish's mouth, stepping, where the fuck is Stepping Stone Cave? Um, it'll guide the way or something though. Oh, um. Okay. Real quick, just come over here. Into the mouth, you say, huh? There we go. Leave that there. I think we have plenty of time still. We're still just learning stuff. We're still just learning stuff, so... Uh, we have some time, but not all the time in the world. It also gives us an idea. The scout is where we want to get to. Imagine there's no point in going down there, but then again, who knows? Ha. Ah. You found the giant anglerfish. 
All right. Um, whoever it was that uh, was it, whoever was it when we ended last time was the anglerfish. We'll change the anglerfish now. Has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says so, the anglerfish sneaks across the other side. The anglerfish catches you. You're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. Uh, why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. And Pi says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. We'll update it. It's okay if young kids don't wear the blindfold when they're at it. The rest of us will still wear it if, for scientific accuracy to make the game more even. Okay. Uh, what? There's a... Ah, all the dead Nomi children are here, huh? Okay, get on top of the skull. Okay, it just brings us up here. Anglerfish study. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it used to grow to attract prey. An update, Malaire, but I was making sketches of the anglerfish. I have driven when I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. It's entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. Usually the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish and dark bramble. We don't believe it's originated from this planet. This anglerfish does not track looks death tracks just death by starvation. Okay. Where the hell are we? Okay, um on the south side? I guess that's cool. So I want to go back. Was there anything else down here? Shit, the place is probably filled up pretty hard, far with sand now. Yeah, uh, shit, which way was the way forward? Or the... Yeah, where's this go? Where's this back from once I, once I came? Uh... Yeah, where the hell does this go? Back... Okay, this is clearly a new place. No, oh, come on. Oh, uh, okay, are there plants here? Oh, yes, there are. I think there are. They're, yeah, up here. We don't have much fuel left, but, uh... Perfect, it was just a circle around. This is just what? Are you listening to the Ashman Project? Yeah, they were making the sun station so that they could power the black hole, white hole thing. Right. Um, okay, so we're down there. We did all that, so we need to do this over here. This has... Uh... Dark matter? Or ghost matter or whatever? I don't remember if we... scanned stuff in here. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told us lots of Nomi died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? The eye of the universe? I mean, I suppose that's theoretically possible. Then again, I wouldn't consider eyes good or evil. They're just things that... Shut up. Things that exist. More brambles. Hate brambles. Ah, shit. Um... Uh, okay, this just leads out of the house. Okay, now it's not gonna let me go up there. I'm trying to cheat my way in. Alright, we don't have that much fuel left, so we do have to be careful. No. 
Yeah, ghost matter detected nearby. Why? Why is there ghost matter here? The entire bottom floor is ghost matter to shit. There's... No safe place down there. It makes sense why the Nomi here are dead, specifically. That looks like there's a small patch of safe spot. Uh, I can't tell if that's... No, never mind. What was it? Wait, was there something down there? In that room? I don't think so. Uh, be welcomed in this place. The shrine is in space to reflect on what brought us to the star system the signal from the eye. We observe the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What if we know what we want to know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself, the rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Okay. It's a chapel. That, yeah, that is the symbol for the eye. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps that this isn't the eye's choice. The eye must, may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meetings uh, where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced to act. Uh, incidentally. Does that mean the eye isn't any less important, though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Uh, does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. As older than the universe itself, how could something exist before its creator? It can be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. There's just all hypotheses on what the eye is. Not really much conclusive going on there. Alright. Um. Gravity cannon? First things first, over here, uh, did I? Do a level critical, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, did I explore over here yet, fully? I don't know. This is the overlook, yeah. Anything else over here? I think I've been in here, right? Shit, there's tons of stuff in here. Possible information. Scan for things, we have to be quick. Uh, looks like there's something over in there. Back this way, no shit, how do I get in there? a scroll spot. No, it's filling up. Damn, we have to come back down here again? There's something in there. Alright, uh, gravity cannon, I guess. No. Nope, not that way.
This is the circumvention. Yeah, I'm ghost matter detected that way. Um. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. I have a problem. I don't have any fuel left. So. Wait, I, I have an idea. Using oxygen as propellant? Yeah. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. God damn it. Yeah, we can speed that up a bit. I There we go. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. There we go. Suffocate. I guess I was gonna I was gonna come down where these thorns were, run to the ghost matter, but this'll work. Down into the stupid place. Oh my gosh. We're so close. We're so close to being done with this Crimson, uh, uh, Crimson City. Unless, uh, unless it says there's nothing else to explore here, or the Crimson. God damn it. I look over again and the, the bit rate of the stream is chugging again. It says it's orange yellow, but it's at 7,000 bits per second. Are you lying to me? <gasps> Huh. Does it say anything else? No? Nah. It doesn't say there's anything else to do there, but it looks like there's something else to do there. So, just play a game with a little fish, I think it's all this. Oh, 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 Um, energy lab. There was a scroll thing there, but I don't know. All right, well, I guess there's, it's saying there's nothing else there. Dark Bramble, let's go. Uh, abort autopilot. We gotta get above the sun real quick. Just so I don't accidentally crash into it. I appreciate that not happening. I do love the, auto just the automatic adjustment of us. We can spin in circles and the ship's gonna keep riding us or the right way to the dark ramble. I mean, it doesn't look that big, but then the twins didn't look that big. And then I got up close and they're bigger than they appear. All right, dark ramble, what do you got? So it was used to be like an ice planet or maybe not necessarily, but it's, it's icy on the edges now because of fact that whatever this is grew out of it. Still come more than a kilometer away. Um Is there anything on the exterior? Or is it just the core that we're looking for information? Again, it doesn't look that, that big. Okay, I guess we're going into the core. Now, assuming the fact that the seed teleported us, um, 
lights in there. We got teleported in. Talk about threatening. Now that you want to talk about kind of creepy atmosphere, yeah, ooh, now this takes the cake for it. We're gonna have giant fish coming to eat our ship or something. None of them are moving. This one's red. It's just a core. Oh God. Uh... Okay, so there are live things in here. Don't move it, it won't see us. Lights are living anglerfish, huh? What, three or four of them in here? I mean, I have to see what it does, right? Yeah! Is this a DLC? Maybe it turns the fog off. That'd be funny. Um... What the hell is the red seed then? I guess we could go try that that out first. But yeah, nice job, Dark Bramble. You made a pretty threatening atmosphere. You got the giant uh, anglerfish things. Uh, do we get any information at it? We just walked in there. So we need to find whoever the the, the there's a, again there's a guy clearly at a dead anglerfish but that we know as much we know of. I want to send a much bigger space so No, that's not really help. Um. Oh, I know how we, how we're gonna do this. Uh, where is the seed? We launch the the scout to the seed, and then we use that to guide us to where we want to go. I understand what I'm supposed to right there. out of here we don't need the suit uh okay so what i do need is this to land nearby and not go past i don't have the camera with me unless i get the suit okay fine 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 uh give me the, the, the yeah yeah, there it is. We can see it, we can see it picking ourselves up. Okay, so now launcher, fire. I need you to land in the correct spot. Man, I wish I could pilot you. Um, yeah, it'll work. Okay, you stay there. I've got to go navigate around giant space monsters. Uh, 
Okay. Going this way. This time because we uh, had to spend some time doing that. And every time we die, we're gonna have to do that again as well. Um, so yeah, but we, because we had to navigate giant, around giant space monsters, we got to uh, avoid the whole conflict. Right? The guy, would this stream please? Um, I'm gonna might have to turn my internet on and off again real quick. That might help. the ghost moon. It didn't do anything. Uh, so... Yeah. But, I, okay, real quick, let me just go... Let me get into position so we're ready to go in. Okay, let me turn the internet on now. Okay, real quick. So let me end... Let me real quick... I just realized I was muted, which is a good thing we fi I figured that out before I restarted uh, streaming. Um, we're just waiting for the uh, OBS to reconnect with um, Twitch right now. Again, just some recording specific audio and me not realizing that I was not unmuted. Okay, reconnection successful. Now I just, I want to see that bitrate go up. All right, good. Stay there. All right, anyway. Um... Is this the DLC? It'd be funny if it was. I'm really quick. I'm curious. If I go to options and I go to. Yes. Resume. Does it like make the fog less or something? I can see that being the case. Whoops. Exit should repair starboard thruster bank. Oh. Uh. We're floating slowly, but not slow enough. Um, all right, get out. Over here. We're still near the entrance, so no big deal. I didn't expect that to happen, though. God damn it. Um... There we go. Easy enough, though. Starboard hull repair. Anything else damaged? Doesn't look like it. Um, stay away, you giant monsters. I don't have time to deal with you. I'm gonna leave my suit on. Seems like a good idea. So we know the red, so we need to watch out for the white lights.
what I'm gonna do... That one's moving. Um, I think if we turn, it doesn't attract their attention. Or no, it's only it's only becoming into view when I glimpse at it. So, I'm gonna go for apply forward thrust, and then we're just gonna move slowly. I gotta do this for 2.6 kilometers. Just avoid the outer, just go stay on the edges and I think we'll be fine. I wonder if I can outrace these things. There's one right up there in the fog, but I think if we stay, go slow and stay far enough away from it, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Is that light another Reaper, um, Reaper? What do I think this is, Subnautica? I mean, I, I've never played Subnautica, but I know what the damn things are. The seed inside of a seed. There's that red light. Uh, we can go get the red light later. Just keep on slowly. But not all of the lights are actually anglerfish. In fact, maybe there's only one live anglerfish per seed layer. If that was the case, yeah. Okay, that might be mean that different lights are, some lights are seeds, some lights are Do you still have the access to the duplicate signal? No. I don't know how to get out of here then. Um. Just, we're, we're going slow here. Um. Huh. it is the one in the middle. I imagine the light is the seed. Wherever I'm trying to go wouldn't have light. Right? This doesn't seem so hard. Also, by the way, uh, this didn't do anything. So this is not it. Nice and slow. Ready to press A at any time. behind this seed? Or is it in this seed? It's in this seed. Go in here. Uh... Too really close to me? Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait, that's a scout arrow. Maybe something now. It's still duplicate errors, though. That white light is not either of my targets, so it's behind that white light. Avoid it anyway. Stay slow. No need to rush. Man, oh, this is a great segment, by the way. about masterfully crafted this section. That light we cannot go near. 
Stay on the edges. Slow down. Just stay on, just stay on the edges. This looks different. Shit, it's kind of close. There's a blue flashing light. There too, though. What's the blue flashing light? Hey, I found you. You haven't seen another living being in a long time that's not out to kill you, huh? Is there a reason to come here? No, no, no. You're lucky that trees could grow here, huh? Alright, um, alright, we made it. I think we're... Sit. Wood signal, wood signal. Um... Ship error. Wait. Oh, ship. Huh. Okay. Um. What's that glowing blue light back there? Uh. Off the Feldspar. Whoa. Where'd you come from? No one's come here in, well, never, actually. That makes you the second person who never reached Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They, they made you an astronaut. And you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Feldspar, you're alive. Impressive. You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. You crashed, but you're the greatest pilot in Hearthian history. I've lived in polite uh, in a polite society for a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. I'm sure it goes like this. I'm just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing no one had ever been before. Getting around in Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. After a while, I ran into this huge ang anglerfish. That you've seen him, um, big gnarly things, and this was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few uh, stunts to try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. When full throttle or full speed, when this fish clips me, knocking me into a vine, and well, like I said, crash, blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't neat. great. Sure enough, I get barely get out of there before the electrical system starts parking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I can't doubt near where I crashed at first. I found the skeleton later. Great find. Wouldn't have been would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds, but been here ever since. Uh, I can't believe you didn't die. You know, in the old days, I used to think the same thing every time I came back from a flight in one plate, uh, one piece. These days, I'm used to it. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Found something. I found N Nomi writing saying anglerfish are blind. Aha! So the blessed things do have a weakness, meaning my fly, fly as fast as I can approach dealing with them could have been used, used a bit more thought behind it. Ah, well, at least they didn't eat me. All the, well, all the ends well, eh, Hatchling? I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chert will tell you, if you're as much as glanced in Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Ramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered the pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick, like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading toward the same fate. And I tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in some, by some worthless seed. 
Uh, you reach the core of Giant's Deep. How'd you do it? Giant's Deep core, huh? Ah, uh, that's a wild one. But since you're asking, I assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet. I haven't even been. Uh, right? If you if I tell you how, it's kind of like cheating. No? Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was big hollow vine. Was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go walk and see where it ends. Take a walk and see where it ends. You want to get to the tail end to tail into the angle skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That's my old ship. Path starts there. Oh, the the blue light is the his ship. Um, where's your ship? Uh, from the night straight past the tail there. You'll find a ship next what happened to this anglerfish? Oh, this skeleton was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, the anglerfish has been chewing on the vine and eating the seed, then the seed grew and ruined the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? The skeleton was a good find. Keep the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. So I, my assumption of there being one per area would probably hold true. Can I get tell your ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. Why don't you just come with me now? Granted, it doesn't matter, but, uh... Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quite peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. Okay. Where's this go? same place. Okay, um... Sure. Well, ship log has been updated. I guess that's cool. So, Hollow Vine... Those were headed to the secret of reaching course to the end of the Hollow Vine that crashed into their ship Their ship into. How's there anyone waiting to tell them they're trying to look for the fucking the fog? Um... You'd want to live here, though? Oh, uh, shit. Real quick. Uh, come here, you. Let's get, add this to the list of things that I've got proper signals on. Don't spar add it to the list. Okay, cool. But yeah, man, flying out round out here kind of would suck, huh? So we're looking for... Nice that the anglerfish's white light is still existing, huh? Out of the way. So the old ship is back here? Yeah. But he would have had an early model ship. Nope. I guess it was cool that we came here before we came to Giant Steam. There's nothing else in here? I mean, it is a hollow vine. Ah, what the? Uh... Um... How, how did you get in? Lies at the end of the hollow vine they crack. Oh. So. So. It lies at the end of the hollow vine they crash your ship into. So you want. So. 
like follow the vine you say it's what's there uh like go actually into it or go that way no let's not actually your ship that... Yeah, excuse me. And yeah, knock it out of the way. Wasn't being very helpful anyway. So, you're saying in here. Okay, ship's too big to fit. Fair enough. I guess we're going in on our own. Go this way. Did he, like, stash something back here? Or something? I guess. Oh, fuck. Um. There's a big hurt. Uh. Let's see, there's off back here where we just be resisting these terribly outside of the rubber and me. I'm going inside the jelly fish. It seems like any better. Um. Yeah, quick! <laughs> Read. Not, do not eat some of your dying would be said to do the blessing. Every I guess they need to release for and do not eat love hills bar. Okay, uh I just realized that uh we were out of time to deal with uh uh to look for stuff. I guess we did take a while to go through the whole thing, but so we need to use these jellyfish as insulation or something. I guess is what we've learned. <sighs> well, whatever. Uh, I, is that all there is to Dark Rumble? There's the Red Seed, though. I mean, we have to go check that out, right? Well, I guess us meandering really slowly through Dark Ramble. We probably could have gone faster. Obviously, getting the... Uh, the uh the probe put down was a very smart thing to do. Get yeah, real quick. We did turn yeah, we turned the echoes of the eye. Make things less scary thing off. Right, we still have that one. So we now have... Ah, whatever. Um... Frozen jellyfish. Most of are done when they attempt to eat the enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, probably because it insulates the jellyfish inside from getting exact by electricity. Decided to venture to see if it tastes any better on the inside. After casing the inside of the jellyfish, including the only other useful insulation from electricity. Good to know.
Are we there yet? No, we're only just past the sun. Fair enough. So we could have gone to find that jellyfish without going through Dark Ramble, but um, it's kind of just the funny thing that the game will do to do you to throw a prank on you, but um, hey, anyway. whatever. It's in one of the bigger chunks of ice out here. Like, probably that one, if I had to guess. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna go to the red. Uh, okay, other side is probably closer. I imagine it's in that, right there. It's a huge chunk of ice. Slow down, whatever, good enough. Manual control. Is this better? Who knows? We're back in here. So again, these things can't see, which is, I mean, cool, I guess. Uh, you're just meant to take it slow and steady and win the race. So what does this do? And again, I imagine there's only one, one anglerfish per area. We're going red seed to red seed to red seed. To go fast to do that. Um, that's the uh, a little more of a annoyance. Again, I what is what? So, what does the Red Sea do? It's like the challenge route. You know, I was thinking there would only be one angler fish, but then there, there, there's two right at the entrance, huh? Great. Uh, again, we probably should have the suit on for this. In case we get damaged by something. Uh, because we're going fast. No reason to, uh... Get ourselves obliterated for no reason. Right. Flying that way, just we have to get up, up over the sun. Up over the sun. And good. Perfect. Can we outrun those things? Probably. I mean, what's his name? Said he could. Why why is OBS not cooperating today? All right, here we are again. We don't want to fly too, too fast so that we uh, crash into stuff. But we want to move at a yeah, let's just try blitzing, see what happens. There's a- that's a seed. That's an angler fish. Nope. Ah. We're dead. Alright, yeah, uh... The problem is we can't, like, turn and all that stuff too quickly. So... That's not gonna work. 
we have to be stealthy. Which is, uh, slow, obviously. Uh, so maybe, hey, maybe the whole idea with the red seed is there's two at every entrance, so you, like, lure them. Wait, uh, maybe you need a lure. Mm, I don't know. What, what does the red seed do? What is, what's, what is its purpose? Pick off. I gotta be all the way over here, huh? Again, get above the sun. I can pilot myself for a bit, you know. Good enough. We need to go around the, the planet from the starting position. Obviously. It's so perfect in keeping us uh, adjusting correctly. Want to go in on this? Nope, no, no. Yeah. This? Nope, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. This entrance right here, that one. That entrance. That entrance right there. I think. Probably. I think so. Don't count on me to know everything. Yeah, this seems right. This is the middle one, the anglerfish? This is the same place, yeah. Can we damage our landing gear? Okay, let's try this entrance. We just back out as soon as possible if, uh, I'd have to say. Stay near the edge again. Always stay near the edge. Perfect. Okay. Um. So my assumption is we need to examine the different holes to see which one has. No white dots in the way. Such a thing doesn't exist. Can we use our 
scout to distract these things. That would be really good. Um, that That's an idea. So it looks like there's the one entrance is like perfectly guarded in a position of, I mean, maybe unless we're human by the anglerfish. Uh, but maybe, maybe we can use a scout as a distraction object. Because we had to use not, we needed a scout to be able to guide us to where we needed to go to get to what's his name. But for the red one, we don't really necessarily need that. We just go red to red to red to red and put this on. Lift off. So it's again, launch scout, yeah. I guess we're about to see. I guess we're about to see. With that being the case, we can go into any entrance we want. We just need to make sure we don't fully aggro the, the, the anglerfish. We just go in a bit, make sure he sees us, and then fire. Need to go kind of slow. Kind of slow. Again, those three th points are seeds, right? It's the one in the middle that's the anglerfish. Oh, sound launcher. We need to go in that entrance, I'm assuming. Right? slow. Stay nice and slow. Velocity match. Damn it. Okay, well, I don't know then. Maybe they want me to go with a human? I don't have much... I don't have much, uh... Resources, though, is the problem. I don't know, I guess we can try later. If we really need to find something to do. Alright, let's go to, uh... Where to Lalo? Is right there. Eight. No, not like that. <laughs> uh, we need to get off the planet first. I'm like 10 kilometers away. I can pilot there myself. I'll have you know. So, um, hello. We've got this thing, but I remember seeing it cooling off later. So this looks like another thing we might not be able to do until later, perhaps. Yeah, just ignore this for now. Um, how am I doing? That's a grand question. How I'm doing is, I don't know. We still got to go through the red seed, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, this is icy. I guess it's a pole or something, right? Oh, I guess we're in the gravity well now. Um, 
There's the black hole. So here's the problem, right? Is we know that Riddle Hollow is falling apart. Um, so I don't know how long we're gonna have here before our ship gets sucked through or <laughs> we get sucked through or whatever. I guess we're here to find out, huh? Can we breathe on this planet? I doubt it. There's no shot. Right? Right. There's no way. Gravity's... Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's not... Let's not get blasted by, a uh, Giant fire rocks coming off of Hollow's Lantern. Um... Jackson Stone? Okay. What are we projecting? Right, I've been there before, it's just... After it had been broken out. Oh, wait, what's this? Um... How's been the growth and development of your channel? Been a little while. Been a little while. A little while. I'm about to... We'll see, we'll see. Um... All right, I'm at your shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Oh, ooh, information about that, huh? Exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still some one more rule you need to learn. Come to see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Tower's on the opposite of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west of the crossroads, you can reach your tower from there. All right, see you in the I'll see you soon. Yeah, it's going to start falling apart. I do not like. Um, gotta keep everything together as, as long as possible. The crossroads. Yeah. Um, don't fall into the black hole. Activate the gravity cannon. Wait, call the shuttle home? Wait, which shuttle is this? This is the shuttle from... Uh... Crossroads? Yeah. Uh, this isn't the shuttle from... The... Uh, the... Crap, what's it called again? Was your aim on this channel to become affiliated or partnership? Uh, eventually. Southern Observatory. Is this from the Interloper? Or is this a different shuttle? This looks different. No, don't do that. Um, I'm here. I'm after wa uh, watching it wander the skies for so long. I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. Next time my shuttle has landed on the moon's south pole, I'll make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always watches its visitors at one comes its visitors at the south pole. Just that it, this is true. As a child, I considered such a known sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe as is as we are. I am ready. Okay. The place is dark. Yeah, it's just gonna keep breaking apart. I don't know how long. We might have to just. Uh. Accept the fact that we might have to reset a lot here just so that we can explore as much of Brittle Hollow as possible before. It all collapses in upon itself. Yeah, you can, again, you can see stuff crumbling in down over there. You await your response. We go, well, again, eventually. I don't, like, no rush. I don't, uh, I don't believe that that's the kind of thing that you get right away, affiliate, affiliate or partnership, you know? When I get them, I get them. If I, if I don't get them, I still have fun streaming anyway. This way. Don't fall on me. Let's see. What is that? Nope, nope. Ah, fuck. Um, maybe we'll get to see. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. 
attack. Power of Quantum Knowledge. Yeah, we'll go over there. That doesn't go through until later, so we're fine for there at the moment. Um. Uh. Hey, what's your name again? Rebeck? Yeah. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow, well, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? Here to see the Hanging City. I've always... It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species ever even existed. How could I not want to see what the civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anyone that I'm out here. You want to know how I got this far? I fell. Tripped out over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere, my little scout. It says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity, so I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move on. That's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to most of me, brother, did you? Yeah, that'd be... yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? It's on the Sunless City on Ember Twin. You mean there's another Nomi City inside of Ember Twin? That's incredible. Uh, a whole city, and I had no idea it existed. This is great. How do they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by the awful river of sand. Gosh, then we sure weren't genius building an entire settlement underground. The Assembly City, wow. I mean, there were two groups of Nomi, one that lived on Ember Twin and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow, but they must have traveled between the solar system since Nomi writing can be found on other planets, too. Learn something. I went to the comet and... Oh, wow, wow. So you're... so that's how the Nomi died. That's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still. As far as above, it's lucky we weren't involved, involved to live on land yet. I think if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in the solar system. That would have been amazing. But I guess if, it, if I hadn't wanted to learn what's, why the Nomi disappeared, I never have left Timber Hearth and come over here, or had any other easy adventures. Don't be wrong, space is terrifying, but you know, it has its moments. Where should I explore? Oh wow, where shouldn't you explore here? I'm not at that black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, and it's not including the Hanging City. This just That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. Most of the big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface, trust me, I tried, but it's like the rest of the Nomi structures here. There's probably a pathway beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Uh, if you learn anything about the Nomi, I'd love to hear it, if it's not too much trouble. So you're doing it here, I'm an archaeologist, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right, you don't really have much to say right now. Can I get up? We're going to the tower. Of not the, the quantum knowledge tower so we can learn stuff. Hello. How's it going? Uh hey, what is that specifically again? Again, this could, we know this comes out of the ceiling later. So if we can hopefully figure out uh wait. Uh... I see. They don't want you to come in here until after it's been sucked through. That ah, shit! Um... I fell off. Well, that's why this thing exists, huh? Um... It said there was something else... here, so I guess... How are the wilds today? Outer? Um... Yeah, I suppose so. Is said there's something else for me here to explore. So I, what the hell do they, are they talking about? I guess we can do a quick inspection of the exterior. There's something else on here? Oh, there's a walkway. Ah, eh, eh. There we go. Uh, and it says there's something else for me to explore here. Where? Are you sure, game? You're not lying to me. Hey, there's two entrances. That's just gonna both bring me into the same place. Uh, yeah, I've been here before, but it it says there's something else to explore here, but there isn't anything else. Yeah, this is the White Hole Station. Blah 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 blah. Um, did I read all the writing? I think so. Just throw this in over here. Okay, 
Um, on now. Does that do anything? Something up over here? Oh no, that's that's a dead end. Okay. Uh, back outside in the ice part. Perhaps I don't. Again, the the ship still says there's something to explore here specifically. What is it talking about? The only place I can see is this ice part. But there's nothing there. Hello. Why are you telling me there's something else here? There isn't anything else here. God damn it. If I'm missing something, very obvious, I'll be quite annoyed. Alright. Ah. The buttons are sometimes a little annoying to move. Alright, well, let's get back on the damn, uh... Uh, get back to the Brittle Hollow. Um, so, problem is, is that, uh, probably used up a decent amount of our time trying to explore Brittle Hollow by accidentally falling into the black hole. It's not the best thing to happen. Um, charge, yeah. Um, oh, uh, fuel here. This isn't, I, so the Hanging City below 50 meters, I didn't come into here before, so this is new information. Ah, I see, you're supposed to, God, okay, quick, go back. I was supposed to bring the thing here with me. I didn't have this last time. Uh, all right, good, we didn't waste that much time. Warp me. Maybe you're supposed to place these down on specific pedestals, which is why it still says there's information here that I haven't gotten yet. That's frozen over. Uh, I hadn't even looked down there before. I just assumed it was going to work, uh, but I guess not. So put this here. I mean, we've seen this before. Like, oh, wow, Ember Twin. Wow, crazy. Uh, Give me that. You do something if I put you down here? Because last time I put you down on something, you didn't reveal anything. Ah, Raymond and I reviewed the records you sent Poke, and they appear to be some arriving at the warp receiver at Brittle Hollow slightly before. Wait, I'm pretty sure I read this. This is but Clary and I tested versus the same time every more time, some of the warps. Okay, I think it's just pointing us towards the high energy lab. We already have been there. Um, there's something over there. Um, considering the fact that we haven't been here, this is one of the last places we're coming to, there might be some information we learned here that's a bit outdated at this point. For our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow Black Hole. Our design works through six created, created warp travel. There's wonderful news, I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as what we built works, then I'm delighted I knew we could do this. Kibas, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct, Clary. Have you seen these readings? If it was accurate, that would violate causality. That would there must be equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the whole station. If you en route me there, you we can run a full diagnostic diagnostic and hopefully look at the problem. Don't tell Kibas. Right. Now I wish you could check the ship log when we were not in the ship. What can you do? What's this? Does anyone observe the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Because the moon is too shy to show its face. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like the violet its violet friend, Hollow's Lantern? I imagine, imagine there were two volcanic moons. The moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow Lantern for nights at a time. The night the moon circles the planet appear random, it seems like it travels as it likes. They're 
There can't exist too much lava. I shall move from what we test the null hypothesis. I imagine there'd be none of us left. Again, it doesn't look like it's cooling down. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, our ship's now over there. Um. Great. So we're on the s North Pole. That's fine. No big deal. Who cares? Not that important. Any holes in the ground we can find? Oh! Uh... This is the other craft ship. I identified signal nearby. Yeah, it looks like most of the planet is caved in already. Uh, we'll go here. Uh, let me quick get a quick reading on the interloper's position. It's on final approach. So we need to search this quickly and then go back through the black hole to try and go back through the, uh, there we go. Uh, go to the quantum tower again. Is everyone unharmed? No one who was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We are incredibly fortunate. This is uh, good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod two or three? There's another one. Uh, no, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods. The trust signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'm I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude if we can. The moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. The planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. You need to find shelter and quickly the volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I've observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we can build platforms. Where is the moon? Down over there. I don't know. Um, so there's another distress beacon. Escape pod two. Unknown. Okay, yeah. Where is that? Over near the ship. Ah, there's one on Dark Bramble. Or giant, wait, giant steep. I can't. We'll figure it out. Uh, we'll figure Okay. How do I get into the escape pod? Was there a... Get, yeah, top entrance before. Okay. Uh, hey, look, it's another escape pod. Cool, we've been to one of these before. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get to the quantum... or the quantum research facility. Or tower. Collision imminent, prepare for impact. I'm about to do the launching... Oh, wait, I didn't read all of these before. Escape pod must have been mortally injured. Emergency was activated. Uh, scanning was my instructions. Pockets of free air detected. Yeah. Escape. Emergency escape hatch. Oh. Uh, yeah. I see. Um. Of a bitch. Yeah, there's another escape pod at, at uh, Dark Bramble. Great. Is that what the red uh, seed is? However, right, get down from the dark hole. The black hole now. Falling in. Alright, where's the. Ah. Where's the tower? Over there, quick! We gotta get over there! There's still stuff we need to see in here. We've, we've been... There's stuff on the top floor. Wait, is this the tower? I can't tell. No, this is something... Oh, this is the cannon! Damn it, shit. That's not what I wanted. Whoops. Um... Is that the tower? No, that's the turning thing. Um... Where the hell is the tower? It's too... The white hole is too bright. That it? Right there? That one? Yes. Okay. I don't have that much fuel left, but, uh... I want to try to figure out... Yeah, yeah, 
Stop. Okay, cool. Got to figure out as much as possible. Before we, uh, because there's still stuff up here. We, we searched this room before, so ignore that. Anything in here? Yes. There's a scroll. Oxygen is propellant. That's fine. We only really want to check out this tower. I think that's all I really care about at this moment. Obviously, these are the planets. We land. Okay. Okay. Too close to target? Fine. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the, uh, to the quantum movie, you're almost prepared to set up out for the deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also the honor of the, the member of the clans who came before us, those who after those who act the crash have brought them to the star system before stranded on Brittle Hollow and Ember Twin with no communication between two groups of survivors. You know we look outward, upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during a long period of hardship. After the two diverse groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find any and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many Yomi who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon that have died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum moon, recall these Nomi and carry their curiosity on with you. That's the moon. That's bramble. That's deep. That's uh, brittle. That's hearth. Um, and that's twins. That's the, the eye, and that's the moon. Is the final location the the moon orbits the eye? Welcome, Selenium. Your arrival here means you've cleaned your uh, preparations on Giant Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. Okay, we need to go there first, huh? On your pilgrimage, of pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. You will be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Be curious on your journey. Okay. Glad we came back here, obviously. Uh, shit. There's still one more thing here that I technically didn't check. There's a staircase up here. I don't know if there's anything up here of significant. I just got an achievement. Um... Okay, quick. Before oxygen depletes and before the sun blows up. Um, is there anything up here? Oh. We came to somewhere with oxygen. Nice. We need to utilize the power of quantum knowledge. If you're a preparation for your first go of business, such as knowledge held within hold you on your journey. Trees are moving, the trees in this grove wander about freely, the entire plant roots and all. This is not normal, even for the alien planet. I've never seen them move, is that even possible? No! If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Or I mean, it's only the trees, there's no amount of tears, she's moving in the same eerie way. The rocks you for some reason do, that particular predator as you know, it's the planet. Uh, the the rock shards present, so we should study it, could move the, um, could move right, the trees move, because we haven't seen reads. So. I see... <laughs> Um, we need to come back here again. Um, it's okay, but the port's on the surface, so we can actually come back here pretty easily. All right, um, progress was made. There's an escape pod in Dark Bramble, which is going to be annoying because of the giant anglerfish. I got an achievement, and was that my first achievement, too? Cutting it close, use your suit's oxygen in an ill-advised manner. It is my first. There are 31 achievements. I've got not gotten a single one yet. Okay. Sure. We still need to go to Ash. Uh, the Ash Twins' inner core. Which is something, I guess. I don't know how to get there yet. Uh... Does this still say something or something? Okay, wait, now. 
Okay. That's uh, fully been explored now. I think this is fully explored. Uh, we have not been there at all yet. Haven't been there yet. Um, Quantum Shrine, sixth location. Right. Um, Ash Twin Towers, right? That's the secret project, I imagine. Uh, this is nothing else. Nothing else there. Uh, okay, so Southern Observatory. Large more suicide is located in the Brutal Hollow South Pole. Rick says you can't get through the surface. They try, but there's probably a path to the crust. Quantum shards. There is a strange rock shard that appears to wander with no one's watching. Gravity Cannon, the Hanging City. Glacier, Deep Pod 1, Shelter Site. We probably want to go to the start, go to the escape pod and start from there. I imagine. Alright, Brit back to Brittle Hollow. Fly. We need to get there before the whole place starts crumbling. You know? Where's the escape pod? Again, that looks like I think it cools down later, but only for a brief period of time. That the escape pod right there. Yes. Look, like, yes. Oh wait, real quick, is that the Southern Observatory? Yes. Okay. And what? Real quick, where is the? What is that? Okay, that's the. Oh, there's the rock. Yeah, Quantum... Quantum Rock. I guess we'll go check that out real quick. So yeah, uh, shit. Trees are moving, the trees in this grove wonder about freely. The entire planet works in all this is not normal, even for this alien planet. I believe it. so so we can read this now. Anything else witness this is disturbing behavior and poor you poured your here's your or my speed. Who's right? The trees do move, I confess I didn't notice until I read the notes. Normally, this isn't the only trees. There's other matter in this area, such as the unusual shard of rock moving the same way. This rock is unusual for another reason, too. That's the color and texture I've never seen anywhere on this planet. Rock shard's presence is significant that we can study. Yeah. Alright, we'll go... We can go on top of the, the, the floating rock. Bloom Felix uh, and I have determined that Atypical shards of rock is the reason objects in this grove are moving in a quantum manner. Of note, a unique signal is coming from the shard. Curiously, our friends, the wandering moon sounds the same. I also heard the same signal that this shard produces calling from the giant's deep timber hearth and the hourglass twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. The only other objects we observe displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this grove were related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere in Brittle Hollow. What if this isn't originally from this planet? This quantum shard is from a wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it's even a small piece of the moon itself. There you go. Um, right. Uh, okay, get back to the ship. Let's go back to the... Uh... Uh... Escape pod. Wherever that was again. There's the icy section. I imagine it's this way somewhere. Uh, wait, 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 wait. what's this? I just land like this, who cares? Um, work, work's good enough for me. It's on the surface somewhere? I guess there are attempted surface, uh... 
Okay, campfire. Yeah, attempted surface habitation. Before it got obliterated by rocks. This goes down. Nice. Oh, what the? Right, of course. Um, will this take us to the southern southern, southern observatory. Gravity crystal workshop above. the tower of quantum knowledge we can go to the dome uh are we currently yeah we're currently above what's his name gravity cannon east this is to the hanging city okay yeah we're gonna go this way Take the quick route by uh, blasting through our fuel. Ooh, okay. Don't do that. Don't be an idiot. We do need to go back to the escape pod. School district. Melt water district. High shrine district. Blackwell forge district. This place seems like a... a good place to to die. I mean, I saw this entire structure not get. Obliterated, so maybe it has a good chance of not being. Gone. Let's go up this way instead. How do I get up? Uh... I get up there. It's sealed off. Hmm. Just clear this real quick. Uh. I guess we're staying on this level for now. It's fine, I guess. This is, oh, this is the uh, Chapel of the Eye side. God damn it. I look over and... Oh, here we found something. I, I see that the stream is connecting again. I mean, I'm, I've been hard on Poke again. Uh, this is, turns This in turn means I've made things difficult for her sister, Clary. And Poke and I, if Poke and I are oil and water, Clary's... All right. A Lumu... Um... M. Lucifer. M. M Emu Lucifer. She surely makes us better team than when mixing through shaking, although sometimes we'd like to share shake folk. Due to side, I suppose my own fear of never finding eye prompted my argument with Poke that would be immature of me. Could you connect, please? I should probably at least declare who would tell should should tell Poke. This place get col does this place get collapsed out of? I 
hear stuff either crashing into the ceiling or breaking away. Okay, I'm gonna go reset the internet again. Great. Oh, this is what I'm always worried about. The, there's a, there are very infrequent, but just the days that where the internet decides to be inconsistent is just great. It's like, oh good, I I, I find streaming enjoyable, and then just oh no, you don't get to use the internet now because uh, fuck you. That's why. Um, I mean, the internet's working. Just if OBS is deciding to connect or not, you know. Yeah, 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 OBS to be. I got you. All right, okay. Oh, look, OBS is actually connected. Isn't that incredible? Um, wouldn't it be nice if you just stayed connected? Impossible, I know. There's another chapel here. Don't collapse. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on Ember Twin, that the Eye of the Universe the sort of wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here almost certainly exactly that circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the Eye in some ways is wistful thinking the Eye might have called out to any sentient species. Or might not have been calling out at all, and my ancestors for the Eye signal holds no great deep, great deeper meaning. That would be so bad, I think. And then, in fact, the Eye may not have wishes have wishes at all, we have no evidence supporting this. Uh, okay. We welcome to this place the shrine into space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observe the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this, the source of the signal, which we've chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, holding the Universe cells, which we have yet to learn. And here, open your mind the bus. I think it's the same. What is the Eye of the Universe? As well as the Universal Management of Pichu. Oh. Is, it, is Cosmic Library. Oh, this, this is different. Suppose the Eye is a more advanced being. The Eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. How can the Eye be older than the Universe itself? Is it supposed to be a relic from the previous Universe? The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previous, previously assumed. What is the eye signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call for the intended audience. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't know yet. Or don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. From the signal where we... Of note, from the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age. You're not going to tell me what it is? Come on. Really? You can, you can tell me the age of it, but you're not going to? Ah, uh, okay, no, I've been, I've been down here before. Anything up here? New. No. And now we just get out? Yeah. I can't tell if the city is collapsing in or not. I think, I, again, I saw that this wasn't collapsed in. As far as I could tell. Get off here. So this is the, this was the Eye Shrine District. This is the Meltwater District. Right. The Meltwater District. So we get the water out. Oh, there's ice here, I see. Um, Black Hole Forge Controls. Ah, we'll go there later. Uh, the Aspen Project provides a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How, sh how should we obtain it? Great, great question. Not really mine to answer. I don't know. Is there something in the water? Okay, um... 
Oh, we still have a full cycle of the interval bar. That's good. Come on. There you go. Anything in here? A scroll. Looks like there's going to be at least two more scrolls. Would make sense. Uh, solution two, we could craft a new vessel. Uh, okay. We're solution one, real quick. We're solution one. I'm gonna find solution one. That's probably it. What we got here? I feel strange trying to recreate Anon's warp core, Anana's, Anana's warp core without her, uh, him. At times, it feel, still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, and for a black hole forge to be in my care and not his. Hypothesis will always feel strange, even though my time with him was short. I miss my old mentor deeply. I have a chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this probably, but what is excitement has? What if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Still, all I can give is my best, and as Anonas would say, if my best prove, it, prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clarion root in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system, and I never saw Anonas warp war with my own three eyes. I only know that the, uh, he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Alright, let's go read this. Solution one, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble, plume my father said many good Nomi perish there. My mentor, uh, Coleus, and his me old mentor once discovered and studied an anglefish fossil in Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglefish entirely. I remember the anglefish fossil we used to play in the fossil fish cave when we were children. Molly and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us to be the anglefish, but our five of us, this was never tested on a live specimen. Specimen, The vessel's warp core is broken at best. Recall these pre those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Oh. Even if it no longer functions, the old core ship would be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. I think the vessel's warp core and it's, uh, so it was, you can grab a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Expanding the vessel's warp core and it's, uh, casing might be losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It wouldn't be the best to learn, I think. The greatest challenge here, I think, is if, is we don't have the design for the powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design in our black hole forge as a depth at crafting some more cores. I believe it can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but I don't explain many of the designs to me. This is the safest path for our plan. Is the safest path the best one, or our goal is worth the risk? Uh, is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that and I and others now believe might be impossible to find. The search for the eye is a futile one. We should choose the option with the least possible potential for harm. I very much like a crafted powerful core, but more relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I. Uh, crew and I can recreate the basic design. Right. So, the people, the Nomi who came here, came here on a warp, with a warp core, and the warp, damaged warp core is, uh, on Dark Bramble, which I guess is through the seed. How do I get through the damp, half the damn anglefish without them seeing me, though? Because, oh yeah, we, we know they're blind. Great. Uh, that doesn't really help. They're gonna see me anyway. Uh, our interloper is on final. So we uh, need to be sure that we're um, making good use of our time. What is this? It's the way up? Oh, this is... of the surface, I guess. 
That's cool. Oh, wait, I keep seeing health, but where the hell is health on here? I don't see that. There's fuel, there's oxygen, and then there's the boost bar. Where I don't see health anywhere. Oh, is it the... It's the red thing on my character, I guess. All right, we got... Uh, Dark Hole Forge controls, or Black Hole Forge controls. There's log updated. What is that doing? running out of time, but, uh... Uh, we're running out of time at, uh... Hey, of course. There we go. Uh, at the, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. Fuel level's, uh, critical. Hey! Uh, the interloper. How's it going? You wanna hang out? As I suffocate to death? That would be funny. Oh, there's like a table there or something. What, the, what is that? Uh, who knows? But we, again, we needed a, a reset on the timer, so we figured some stuff out. There's gonna be a lot of new information on the ship's log. So I guess we can go do that. So again, how do we get past, do we have to go uh, shipless to get past the anglerfish? But my suit would still generate noise. Maybe not. Perhaps not. I guess we'll see. Yes, we'll see. Uh, so we know that the vessel is here. We're, 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 when it crashes a dark ramble, yes. Um, you know that the quantum signal is going to from somewhere in Dynasty, yes. Southern Observatory, we haven't been there yet. Uh, shelter site, Black Hole Forge. Uh, Who says, uh, gravity cannon? I recall the Nomi shuttle from the quantum moon. Right. Uh, city suspended, the city is divided, broken for the pound of the, which of the, the raisin lowers the black hole forge. The Nomi obtained how to obtain a powerful, highly advanced warp core provided from the Ash Twin project. The Nomi traveled from the solar to the bank of the older little of self. Uh, I have the universe. The glacier. Gate pod one. Shelter site. Uh, we need to go back to Brittle Hollow. 
obviously. Um, we should go do the shelter site thing real quick, just get that over with. Um, go. Yeah. Every time. You cause me trouble. Every time. I mean, maybe we can land on the moon or something? I doubt it. Go inside one of the volcanoes. Maybe one of the volcanoes is inactive? No. Yes? No. Where's the... There's the crash ship. Okay, right there. Right... Here. Perfect. Get out. Get the suit. Let's go. And then we just follow... First things first, we'll follow the path down. Is it the best place to start? Ah. Nope. Careful. Uh, use caution if black hole sleeps below, you must not slip. You got, you got it, boss. I won't be doing any slipping. Alright, so this is the... towards the shelter site. Uh, no, be sure not to wander far from here. This, this area is somewhat unstable. It's safer than we've, any we've found so far. Every settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Get blog updated. Okay. There's also going to be stuff here. We can go to the loading city later. Uh, given concerns about our settlement stability, there should be where should we construct a new, less temporary settlement? We need to stay close to the escape pod so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't uh, present in response. I don't believe anything is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. Wise point, Plume, and eloquently made it. If moving to the Northern Glacier will keep us safer, this is where what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the Northern Glacier. What if we use the Grappy Crystal to craft a stable path? I think we need to cross again with shelters from the volcanic eruptions. Yeah. We'll go this way later. This is where we want to head, head towards the uh, city. We need to explore over here first. So there's another Chapel of the Eye. There's knowledge to your lose here is everything we can crawl about the vessel. We only encountered kind of while aboard the vessel. I think it will look like an eye around with a circle at the center, much like a pupil, I suppose the signal was looking for something. I think it was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant de detail. No Nomi clan has ever encountered anything like it. How could anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge is my offer. I must find this item, of course. Uh, what? Those pictures are new. Very new indeed. Once again, so much to explore, not enough time. Not enough time at all. I get in there! I mean, this could be part of the crumbling. Oh. Oh, here we go. Uh. Look out, look out below. Look out for the gravity hole. Or should you slip? Yeah, we've read this before and lose your grip. And then the space will go. Yeah, this is part of the crumbling section, so we need to be th get through here quick. What is this? A ship was called by the eye. Something ate the ship. Two escape pods. Dark Ramble. One went to the twins, one went to here. One got trapped. 
We're saying dark, whatever dark bramble is, is the threat. I can't understand why did the vessel crash in that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, and Ona and I checked for the warp, but the warp core and navigation system were both well. The warp to follow the curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. It wasn't, wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. We're afraid of our friends are in escape pod three. Yeah, me too. Or I, I would be. Um, if I were you. Uh, we can hear the other things are still able to give us hope. Foley and are still there. I'm sure I'll survive in this place without you. I think we've read these before. I mean, I, we'll keep doing uh, examinations of this place until I'm sure we've done everything. But, I, again, I think we've already read all this stuff. I believe. Back up top. Went that way first. Getting dark in here. Real dark. Why? What's that over there? I'll take the oxygen. That's not really that big of a deal. Our other wasn't an escape pod one with us. Was he in pod two or pod three? Was he able to board an escape pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, will not allow our clan's greatest philosophy in vain. Here, I guess. Yeah, this is at one of the Nomi's darkest hours. Pantographs, yeah, we read this one before. I think it's just the warp points in between. Nothing significant about that. I think this is the last structure we have not been inside of. If we have already been, I mean, if we haven't been inside of it, this structure yet. It's the hardest part of trying to not knowing who we have. Yeah, we read that one. Okay, so we need to get out of here. Because... This place is going to collapse. I mean, we can't scan that, can we? No. So we now know that Dark Bramble caused the ship to crash. Interesting. along the ceiling. It's just that simple. I don't know what the range on these things are. Please don't fall into the black hole, because then I'll just warp back here again. Yeah. This is back to the yeah, upside down city. Uh, what? That's the Tower, right? Yeah. That's, I assume, no, that's the cannon. Right? Yeah. Where's the observatory then? I don't know. We still need to. The interloper still has one path around the sun. 
So we're, we're still good on time at the moment. So I guess we can get back there. So frustrating, this this whole system of, oh, you're gonna get sent to, uh... You're gonna get sent back and forth uh, to the black hole over and over again. I mean, I guess I'm not being an idiot. It's not so hard, but still. I just have to wait for this. So, so Dark Bramble is something kind of sinister. Something we definitely need to watch out for. And there's, so there's the, the secret water entrance, the, or the secret ice entrance. Uh, if we go to the iceberg section. There's fuel here. We are on the iceberg already. So where the hell is the entrance then? In here, down over here. This looks like where it was. Oops. Um. Here somewhere? Come on. I thought so I was gonna get crashed on by a by a by a falling rock. But never mind, we're here. Back where we're supposed to be. So again, how do I get up? I, okay, we'll do that last. We'll figure out the rest of this area first. So what is the bottom floor again called? This was the Meltwater District. This was the School District. Okay. Let's go do some education. Right, right, right. Right. Of course. Uh, hmm. Oh, this place obviously doesn't seem very stable, but, uh... Gotta look around, see if there's anything of relevance. Wow, ghost matter. Crazy. Exciting. I love ghost matter. It really makes me have a fun time. Come I am not I'm not lying about that for sure. Oxygen. Okay. Uh, oh, we did actually have to go around this way. I chose the correct direction. Just uh, on accident. Good stuff. Uh, very, be something pretty mind-boggling by going this whole direction. Two scrolls. All right, classroom. Tell me what you got to what to learn. Explanation of festival. All the Nomi clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called festivals. Uh, we can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we should go too. At some festivals, one clan's biggest discovery can mean all the Nomi can get to advance too, like Anona's warp core, which made it so everyone can warp long dis distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival and envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival can't last, can, could last a long, long time. Don't forget festivals happen every 10 years. Uh, not super helpful, but, uh, sure. Cool, I guess. Formation of the universe. No one knows how the universe was made, but one thing we know is that everything used to be very hot and dense, like until he packed together. As the Earth's universe expanded, or the early universe expanded, also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. 
Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. The years will keep getting older, colder and larger until one day the stars in life they support will die. Scary to think about, even though Dakoni tells me it won't happen in our life signs, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Ow. Now you just skip past the dark matter. Another scroll. This is the secret scroll, the scroll that will unlock the secrets of the universe or something? I don't know. Uh, to us. Hopefully. That one. We still got plenty of time, right? Uh, okay, the interloper's on its final stretch. Why should we build a new vessel? Uh, it probably would be hard to get parts of it if we stopped building other new things and if we broke down other structures like the towers of on Ash Twin for parts. We might have to build a smaller vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large, but we can make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. It would also help if we stopped building so many things to search for the eye of the universe. I asked Yaro and he says that we used lots of resources on the Ash Twin project. We can even have a warp core for jumping along distances like vessels have. Pope tells me she plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure she could connect it to the vessel for travel because Pope is smart. Each Nomi clan explores the universe as its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every plan. It was unusual for Nomi to remain in one place for so long. Nomi, our wanderers, have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return to our adventurous ways of life. Imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in the star system. You can meet with other Nomi and learn from them, like Coleus said we used to. Right. That didn't really tell me much. At all. But whatever. Um. Okay, so... Yeah, so I have an idea. I have two ideas. Um, first, we try this again. Uh, over here. Which I don't think will work, but I can try. There's a warp point, which I don't... I don't know what that warp point goes to. Quick, 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 quick. Here. Okay, cool. Um, what is this? Uh, okay, ignore that for the moment. This is the... Be cautious near the boarding area while the Black Hole Forge is in operation. Oh, that's the Black Hole Forge. Right. Okay. Um... Just check over here real quick. Do not boost whatever you do. I don't know if that was a le legitimate way to get here, but whatever. Michael Forge left 330 meters. Yeah, where is... This is a warp point. From where? Exit to surface. No, let's not do that. Oh, this is the hole that was filled in that we do not want to. 
Yeah, we don't want to go there. Um, Blackwell Forge North. Right. Okay, so again, what... Where does this warp point take you? Where is it from? Oh, I guess it would be the, um... The tower in, uh... The, the, the place, the... The, uh, the twins, Ash Twin. Well, where, where am I taking this first black hole core? And what, where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All the warp towers are being constructed on Ash Twin, so the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude in that case, Pope Clary and I'm, Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yara for your regards. I'll return to the Ford shortly. I'm going to catch up with Root and help him deliver the first core to Ashwin just to make sure Yara receives it. Of course you are. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six receivers are being constructed at different locations, so these deliveries will be a greater pain in your uh, cervical spine. The tower designs in the high energy lab on Ember Twin Reel, each receiver's location. Ask Yara, he's familiar with them. Right. that. Is there a projector? I, there's a party. Just the Ash Twin thing. Um, of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the Warp Tower's designs, namely the one on the Warp Tower on Ash Twin will never act. The one of the Warp Towers on Ash Twin will never act because its Warp Receiver will never align overhead. Does, you, does your romantic interest think a Warp Tower's alignment point is its receiver? Doesn't does he not know that Warp Tower always aligns with the center of its corresponding astral body? This isn't an unreasonable belief, given that the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No, Yero understands the distinction. He likely doesn't recognize, realize the Alertrox twins are so close together, they're, they function in a single astral body with a shared alignment, shared alignment point in between them. Regarding warp towers on uh, Ashwin, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it is tuned? Tuned? Does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body? I enjoy precision as much as- wait, uh, we don't need the alignment angle to be exact, it only needs to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. I've noted this gives us a slightly longer warp window, I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any Nomi stepping onto the warp platform during the- uh, active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform the duration of the time it's actually to avoid accidental transportation. I enjoy, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomi, but if, for example, tower's base were to shift ever slightly, the tower would no longer align with the central body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as much as the next Nomi, provided the next Nomi is not a poke. What is this? Uh Yeah, um Huh. What What is this? This is where they, yeah, so this is where they built the stuff for all the teleportation stuff on, uh, what's it called? Oh, I mean, I guess we can go get that real quick. I don't know how relevant it is. How much time do we have left? Not much. We don't have much time at all. This is our last thing. 
Uh, this is gonna give us information that we don't know before. I, we've done... The Invisible Report has already been sold to Century Bash Twin. Uh, I'm sure you love everyone who's working on this. Just, it's just work for it. No, it isn't. Very well at the Forge. Don't worry, love posing only nervous. Of course, you're gonna be of course, really should just be improved. I need more time. In order to get the court finished, and my sister tells the other that she will be returned to I think we've read that one. I, so, I assume... Oh, wait. Maybe not. Again, only three heads are lit. There's... Four heads... What is this? Um, my assumption... Is whatever is the at the middle of Aquin is what this thing is. I prob probably is this what's at the middle of Ash Twin? The warp towers on Ash Twin, does each have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the Ash Body, which is tuned? This music always starts playing right before the uh explosion. This has to be the the Ash Twin one, right? Whatever the hell is in the center of Ash Twin. I imagine. So, I guess we need to get back to our ship. Um and figure out what the hell is going on. Right? Well, the plant, everything's about to blow up, so. So when this music starts winding down is when the explosion happens. Alright, that's a cute to we'll pay attention for. Is that, oh good, the music's playing. That means we got, what, a minute left or something? Like, oh, finish translating. Oh. No, I, I was ready for it. I was ready. You can't fool me. So again, we learned a lot of stuff. Again. Yeah, I think the Nomi, these Nomi head statue things that you see when you warp back, I did, the three of them are turned on, but I don't know what that means. Out of seven, was it again? Is that what the inside of the Ash Quinn looks like? I mean, again, we're technically figuring stuff out. By how much, I don't know. So I go back to the ship. Uh... There's more looks... Yeah, uh, let me play the construction on negative time. Where's your central chamber? Uh, the band war core was improved for installation in the central chamber of Ashwin. Yeah. Other observer, yeah, we still need to go there. Um, Hanging City, everything here has been discovered. How we doing? Um, we're about to get to a point where I don't. We've got a lot of choices to do now. Diary between a warp tower and its corresponding astral body. I assume this is the interior of the Ash Twin. Warp tower alignment angles are not exactly only needs to be within five degrees, or something slightly longer. Warp windows that maybe or maybe it's just an example. It's not actually relevant of anything. Alright, well I guess the only thing so the what do we currently have on the dock? We still haven't explored uh what am I, what's my called um at all. Um it's pictures of places you've already been. Yeah, um, but we haven't explored 
giant steep at all. Um, we still have the something with the towers here at the Hourglass Twins. We go back to Dark Bramble to do the red thing. Um, and then we have, like, the observatory. Um, the observatory to do here. And then something Hollow's Lantern. Assumably we can do something with that. I don't know yet what that is. Okay, I want to go to the... Yeah, hey, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Um, something you got some adventure ahead of you. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, man, I don't know how long this game is exactly, but I feel like we're getting there. Wait, actually, we can go to the cannon instead. Um, the cannon also works. This is good enough. Or, no, that's not the cannon. That's the the escape pod. Where the hell is the cannon? Like, where was the cannon? Shit, I need the cannon or the 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 different dimension tower or whatever. Where is that? Uh, there's the cannon, okay. Up here, just right here. And then, do a nice landing. That isn't really a nice landing, but whatever, I don't care. Good enough for me. So, Usually takes anywhere from six, three to six sessions, depending on how quickly you get through it. Depends on how long the session is, also. Uh. So again, this ship came from. But oh, I okay. There is a question that I kind of want to ask that would be worth, I think, worthwhile. Uh, to be relevant, is does the DLC integrate well with the main story, or is it something that's pretty separate? Because that's the only thing I'm unsure about, because... Ah... Uh, I don't have any idea this way. I have no idea what the LEC is even supposed to be. Little of both. So it's kind of on its own, but it's also kind of mixed in with stuff. Let's see. Um, so... Which one do I take to get to the Southern Observatory? Uh, this one? Just... Why not? I assume it's further this way. This is the only place I think I have left to go on this planet. I think. Uh, okay. Keep on keeping on. What? It's gonna... You want me to boost up into it? Okay, cool. We got it. Is this the, the Southern Observatory? I... We're back into an icy area. I guess it's... This is new. Okay, cool. Uh... enough. Um, now we're two. This way? Yes. Uh. Here? Yeah. Right, this is like a whole platforming segment. That's fine. It's not that hard when you have a jetpack. Hey, what the hell's down there? Oh, ghost matter. Well, I'm glad I came this way. Um, because clearly this, the other way wouldn't have worked. Um, yeah, I don't want to say too much. All the connections mostly to the story. The gameplay is pretty much separate. Okay, because, like, again, I, I kind of would like to do, I don't, I hope that when I beat the game, if I haven't found the DLC yet, the game just isn't over or whatever. I guess technically since it's just a time loop, and I assume when I beat the game, just be going through a perfect sequence of stuff, so I can just go back into the game and go figure out whatever the hell the DLC is. That was my assumption. Because so far we... So, like, people could... I, this has been compared uh, to Majora's Mask, which is kind of true, but in Majora's Mask, we get to keep some stuff through time, uh, time loops, which in this game, the only thing we get to keep is information. So... Uh, that's not really the same thing. 
Um, we have not been able to keep a single item through time loop. This is just the exit, which I didn't even... Tr oh, okay. Uh, I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, is that the ship? In that the ship went down, I didn't sustain bodily harm, a few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my best better attempts, Felsar would have barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there was one, probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north of the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Well, I haven't come to the... This place on the surface, so I guess that's new information. Hey, uh, this guy's ship. How's it going? This one looks like a slightly different version than mine, versus the other ones I've seen so far, which look like older ships. Eh, whatever. Okay, um... Place looks pretty cool, wouldn't you say? Wait, oh, okay, I thought there was a hole here or something. Okay, so what's this? Giant Steep Projection Stone. All right, Giant Steep is the big last planet we have to explore still. Connie, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Can Kavasta convinced me not to try and recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Fire reconstruct uh, constructs a model of Giant Steep here at Pearl Hollow's Southern Observatory and reveals how an object might sink below the current. I am Connie Conway, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through a projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface in the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle's Hollow, Gravity Cannon, one on the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Uh, Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Well, I know that to get down, we have to ride medium boat times. And I know that I've been to to Ramp Deep, uh, what? Dark Ramble already, and I found what's his name in the jellyfish. So I need, no, I need to like use the jellyfish to help me get below, but I guess maybe there's more information worth knowing. I've seen this before. I There was another place that had this projection stone. I forget where, uh, but I, I've seen this before. That's not really anything new. That that, that projection at any rate. Um, there too. Ooh. I guess it's an observatory. Ooh, tornadoes, crazy. Um. Kavasa's construction yard has been using cyclones on giant seat to lift orbit probe cannon parts in orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that prevents anything from sinking. Fire and I are crafting a model to determine why this is happening. An update. I'm now clear. Uh, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclones. They're rotating in different directions. Um, most cyclones on giant seat rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Kavasa typically uses to sink components to orbit. There also exists a rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Conroy is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. Is it really necessary to build a model to test? Tell me that. The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steam. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Like, this the, the counterclockwise one pushes us down. Yeah, okay. And the clockwise one pushes you up. Right. Good to know. So we know we need to make use of the jellyfish. Oh, I don't know. I still haven't been to Giant Steep. Um, and we need to use the counterclockwise ones to go down. Right. So this is... This is the twins, obviously. I don't know what, what it's doing just besides showing me a picture of the twins. I guess it's showing me their relative position to the sun, which I guess is cool. Crazy, you've got all this info about Giant Sleep without ever being there yet. Yeah, I just, I've been like, I choose a planet and then I just fully complete it to the best of my capacity. So I started with um, Timber Hearth and the moon. Then I went to white hole, I think. 
Yeah, I went to the white hole then, and the interloper. Though the interloper, I didn't realize the, the melting thing right away. And then I did the hourglass twins, and I, we spent a while there. And then we went to Dark Bramble, and I went to find the guy who told me about the jellyfish way deep in by putting a probe through the thing on Timber Hearth. Then I recognize there was the Red Sea there, but I can't figure out how to get past the guys yet. Like, I know they can't see or whatever, but there's probably more to it than that. Um, I'll probably have to mess around with that more. Uh, and now we're at Brittle Hollow. We're finishing Brittle Hollow. So Giant Thief is going to be the last thing I do. We've been to the, the Sun Tower because I figured I figured out how to get there. I just had to be at the correct timing. Uh, so... Oh, we can put all of them on? That's cool. Just put the entire projection on. So that's Brittle Hollow. Giant Steep. Dark Bramble. The Eye. Okay, that Eye mimics the, um the movements of the quantum moon tracker thingamajig at the one hollow. Unable to determine orbit, no signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. I mean, it's not the exact same, but the way it moves around erratically is like the quantum moon. How did you get to the sun station? I just went to the sun tower at the Ash Twins and waited, at the, waited for the exact moment for the sand to be just low enough so I could go into the tower, run to the sun tower, teleport, go up to the sun tower, and I had about like three minutes to run around there. Or a little more than that, I think. But it was enough to like check everything out, considering the fact that um, it says nothing more to explore there. I thought you landed there? Oh no. I tried that. It didn't work. Um, what have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? I mean, maybe one. If you, you'd have to be really specifically exact so that your ship crashed into the sun tower, I think might work. And maybe then you just die. I don't know. Uh, what we have, uh, what have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Based on our knowledge of the Quantum Moon, we believe the Eye is in orbit around this star system Sun. The, this would mean the Eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally have followed the Eye signals to the star system, but we were unable to warp the Eye itself. The locator we built on the Atle Rock and new, more sensitive. Uh, wait, what? Locator we built on the Atle Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built. Here, we're both unable to detect any traces of the Eye signal. And there's a locator on the Atle Rock. I don't remember that. It's been a while since we've been there, though. How long since the Eye has stopped emitting its signal? Suppose the Eye doesn't wish to be found. How else have we? Can, how can we say? How can you suggest that the Eye signal called out to summon us to the star system? I'm aware I grew up hearing this Eye story. Yet, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when we first arrived here. The Atle Rock is the thing that the, the, the moon, right? The moon of Timber's Earth? Yeah. I don't remember that being there. I guess maybe I missed something. Alright, this is the last thing over here. Let's see, what the hell is that? It's just a snowflake. Um. How could our method change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know that the eye looks like like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. Uh, we'll need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A candidate is in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull, so that's the thing that blows up at the beginning of the time loop. Giant seat would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless, except for the quantum moon is when the quantum moon is visiting. Uh... Yes, let's build a cannon in order on a giant steep. We've been there already. I mean, we could fit the giant steep to go to the cannon. As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, if we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Al's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction, correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for the problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology? Yeah. Okay, so it seems like it's everything here. Uh, yeah, it's doable. Very hard, but doable. I watched this one guy for hours before he... I tried for hours before he got it. Don't pay attention to me in my chat, though. This is important. Reading lol. Oh, important reading for what? 
All right, where's my ship? Ah, oh, what the hell? God damn it, my ship fell in the black hole again. And now it's... The ship doesn't stay near the white hole, so now it's just in the middle of nowhere. Great. Um... Fantastic. Uh... Uh, what is that? Hello? I haven't seen that before. Oh, wait. I have seen something passing through Giant Steep before. Never mind. Uh, it looks like where the uh, Outer Wilds frequency thing is coming from. Um, I know there's a quantum fluctuation there. Is there any more, more quantum fluctuations? Like one down there, too? Uh, what is that? Is it dark? Oh, wait, it's the quantum moon. Hello. Um, how's it going? I mean, I still haven't, I've flown into you a couple times now, but still haven't really done anything with you. Um, distress beacon? Ah, I don't want to go back to dark ramble, but I assume this is where the, this distress beacon is through the red seed. Deep space radio is just the radio tower and wherever the hell the, Probe is. Deep space satellite, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Um. Is there a way to kill myself efficiently? Because. I don't have a ship. I don't know what to do. Um. I guess I could just burn all my fuel and then use up my oxygen. seems like a, a viable strategy, perhaps. Or just fall from really fall, fall, uh, tall height. That might work, too. Hmm. Yeah, let's try that again. I just need to die. I need my ship back. Give me my ship back. Nope, no, 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 no. We should be able to die here in a second. Again, I, so what is this warp point? I assume it's just the, the if we use the uh, the hollows whatever ma majig uh, thing on Ash Twin, it would take us here. All right, dying time. Here we go. Uh, this is the good stuff. How to die? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been a, we've been in a couple situations where. Uh, that's the case. If we're low on fuel, we can just burn oxygen by running out of fuel. Um, and then using up our oxygen, which I've done twice. Um, I think it's the first time I've died to contact. Like, crashing into something? I don't know. Um, so, is there anything else on Brittle? So the only thing left on Brittle Hollow at this point is the moon? Which I... It looks like the lava slow is very, very slowly draining off of it. So I don't know. Hollow's lantern, yeah. Um, so Southern Observatory, we know the term tor tornado simulation. We based a ton of shit here. Um anything else? No. And we really need to find the other, the, the escape pod that is in, uh, uh, Dark Bramble. Um, the vessel and escape pod. So, wait, the vessel and the escape pod three are in here. Are they going to be in the same place? Assumably not. Hmm. Problem is there's too many seeds. Uh... Huh. Um... Am I going back to Dark Rainbow again? I don't... The only thing I can think left of is just going in suit with just the suit without the ship. But I don't think that's gonna work. I guess we can try. Never hurts to try, right? I mean, we'll get eaten by an anglerfish again, but uh... What can you do? Our bro Again, we've been through here once before. I successfully found what's his name. Uh. Yeah, I can. 
but I can escape the single scope. Yeah, what's his name? Feldspar? I found Feldspar. Uh, that wasn't so hard. Um, the question is the Red Seed. How the hell do I do it? How do I, how do I get through the Red Seed? There's fucking 10 trillion fish. Um, double fish. Hmm. I mean, moving slow isn't really the solution at this point. I also need to go to the other side, I think. Maybe close to the Red Seed as possible. I think this is the entrance I want. Yeah, I think my only choice is to try suit. Just suit. Without the spaceship. I don't think it's gonna work. There's no way it works. Okay, is this the correct side that I want? Old. Old. Yes. Okay, cool. We're good. Alright, back in here again. The most, uh unnerving area in the game, I suppose. So we know that central light is the uh, angler fish, so we can just kind of... Yeah, it's right behind here. No problems whatsoever. I mean, again, I'm probably just about to get eaten. I'm just trying it out. I don't know what to do otherwise. I mean, theoretically, I could try to run out of fuel in my suit and then go with oxygen only, but, um... I mean, actually, yeah, we can just test on the central angler fish. I mean, I know, because we want to get past the uh, the guys at the entrance here. Otherwise, it's not gonna, we know it's not going to work anyway, so... We just need to avoid that anglerfish for the initial approach. Get as close as we can with the, sh the ship. And this is the only... I mean, there could be other paths through the other white seeds, but I don't know. Alright, so position ourselves here. A little further left. Nope, stop. There we go. Ah, uh, wait. Actually, let's get a little closer. Perfect. Nope, no, stop. Okay, cool. So this is probably not gonna work. I'm about to get eaten again. This was a waste of time, but uh, let's go. Okay, take it real slow. Real slow. Real slow, if I just go it's nice and slow. I'm not even moving right now. I mean, I think I'd just die if I also just touch them. Is it working? I mean, holy shit, there's another one. Don't touch it. Don't, we're far enough away from that. Okay, um, hands off the controller. That, I mean, I haven't used thrust. Well, I haven't moved either. I haven't changed where I'm looking, um, but hey, it's working. Just slowly float towards the middle. I mean, I tried to use a probe to distract them later earlier, but that didn't really work. Um, I mean, if there's multiple levels of red seed, this might be a problem because, uh, I don't have all the time in the universe. I, I want a clock. Um, I don't want to turn around to look back at the anglerfish because I don't want to give them an, an excuse to uh, come kill me. This is so slow, though. Whoa, that was a real whistle with just opening our mouth. Uh, but yeah, this is so damn slow, but I can't risk it. That looks... Odd. What is that? Is it just a seed again? Or... What is that? Like bubbles? What is this? Hello? What is that? Is it another space monster? I'm just floating real slow like. No sudden moves. Uh-huh. Uh, they're not eggs, are they? 
that would be... I mean, if we just die, we die. Who cares? But, um... What's the point of coming in here, then? They look like eggs. And there's something in the middle of them? <laughs> the slowest thing of all time. <laughs> Man! Well, what? Okay. Don't touch them. Uh... There's nothing here! What the hell? What's the point of this? Um... Huh? I mean, I guess it worked. I got to see this, but um... What was the point? There's nothing here. We're probably going to need to find some way to find the... Uh, well, I, we'll probably find some way to find the, the lost ship and whatever on... Whatever deep. Um, this is pointless. Um, Alright, where the hell is the closest fish? Hey! You want to eat? Uh, you want a snack? I guess we'll get, we're about to learn if a suit... Oh, that's... A seed, but not a seed where the angler fish. Eh, maybe it could be something. Not a seed where the angler fish were, or maybe it'll just let me back out. Slow down. Keep going. Maybe there's something. Maybe I'll just accidentally stumble across the ship. That would be funny. Um. We'd run out of oxygen real quick. Ah, screw it. I don't care. If we, if we, we're gonna find something that uh, where's where's the anglerfish? Come on, eat me. What is happening? Where are we? Just another seed. What do you want from me? Wait. Stop. 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 Maybe this is a loop. Who's over here? Okay, that's an angler fish. All right, go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. We don't have a lot of oxygen left, actually, so uh, this could be problematic. Wait, is there a seat back that way? No, there's no light back that way. So... Again, maybe I'm accidentally stumbling, stumbling across the correct direction, which would be really funny. And it could just be a never-ending loop. What is the point of Dark Ramble? Just to mess with people? Yeah, this is another anglerfish. I can hear him. All right, we're just, we're just endlessly looping here. Hello? Is, is, is there a point to this? Yeah. Um. Alright, I at least want to contest the hypothesis of maybe the suit makes it less detectable by being in just the suit is less detectable by anglerfish. If we get eaten again, we're about to die anyway. Slow down a bit. Beat up a bit. The question is if boost... It's the booster that we need to know if it affects the anglerfish. Huh? Okay, I think we can get a bit closer. Maybe. A little bit. We can, We need to kind of position ourselves so that we fly past them without using any boosters at all. But I know we'll figure it out later. We'll probably do it with the ship too if, the, if it wasn't two anglerfish real close together. Whatever. So the red seed is... As of this moment... Been so many times I still jump. Well... Uh... 
the frenzy as as of this moment is not very particularly helpful. Um, it's uh for later, I guess. Damn dark bramble. All right. Uh, next thing. Next is I guess we need to try. Um. Brittle Hollow's mode. Solid life? Yeah, it didn't last very long now, did it? Um. But, uh. Ale, Battle Rock. Um. You just autopilot me there. So. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot about this thing. I, again, it's been a while since we've been there. Um. So, the moon. Walk on that instead. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. Is there a point to this thing? I mean, it has a spot. Where are we going, Cap? Um, it has a spot on the information chart, but I don't see any way to interact with it. The only thing I can see is I think it has some landing points a bit later in time. But the problem is, is I don't know how when that specifically becomes available, and it seems like a long time. What the hell do I do with you? Wait, uh, looks like there could be something right inside the lip of that volcano. Avoid that. It looks like there's something right... there. Right, I wish I could put myself in orbit around this thing. It looks like it doesn't have gravity, though, so maybe I could just... ignore it um no no there is definitely a little bit of not much but a little bit of gravity ah shit that was close so there's a specific where is it this one it's this one right yeah okay Okay, this is gonna be really okay. Back off for a second. Oh, hey interloper, how's it going? Uh, get my spacesuit. This is gonna be a really precise thing. Is I'm gonna have to say fuck the ship. Uh, just jump on out and try to get into the volcano that I want to go into. I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, this one, I, I lost it. Uh. I don't think it's this one, but I'll double check. Come on. Me. It is not that one. Okay, it's one of these two over here. This is the most annoying thing to try and maneuver around. Is it this one? Yes, that one right there. Okay. You need to be very specific. Why? Get off. Ow. Now. No, okay, I might have fucked up. It's that one. Ooh. I know which one it is. Come back. I mean, I can go pretty damn quick with my suit, but uh, not as fast as I'd like. Can you start slowing down? That one right there. It's that one right there. It's that one right there. I'm a madman. I'm doing, I'm trying. That one, it's that one, it's that one, it's that one. That one, I'm, the one I'm pointing at. God damn it. It moves too damn quick. I don't know where my ship went. Uh, ship's one or two kilometers away. Okay, uh... I don't know if this is gonna work. I might just have to wait. Uh... I can catch back up to my ship. Can I autopilot to it? No. Ugh! Match velocity. Shit, I'm too going too fast. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, well, 
I guess that works too. I didn't realize we were that close to Brittle Hollow. I thought we'd kind of gone out of its uh, area of effect. My knees? Oh, I think it was a bit more than my knees that got uh, shattered there. I, I want to figure out what the deal with Hollow's Lantern is, but I kind of need to just wait to do it, I guess. I'm going to Giant Steep, but you know, I don't want to be running. I don't want to be exploring Giant Steep deep inside of Giant Steep, learning a bunch of stuff about it, and then be like, oh, yeah, I got to go back to Hollow's Lantern. Um, uh, but oh, man, we only have two minutes left. We're not going to get there in time. You have a spot. I need to figure out what your deal is. Oh, man. Is there anything else we can do? Specifically right now? Uh... Where's, uh... Ah, we're falling back to... to we're falling back to Earth! Roast of Marshmallow? Oh, yeah, you can pass time, can't you? Um... I forgot about that. Alright, I guess we're back on the planet. Um... Never landed back here again before. There's never been a need to. Um... I reckon that's not what I meant I was joking. Well, you can doze off. No backseat gaming. I think I will honestly I knew this mechanic was a thing, but I'd forgotten about it. Eh. I assume those are seconds. Can we sleep till the end of the universe? Um Just give it a bit. Uh We'll go to like six minutes, I think. Um, I don't know if there's a point to roasting a marshmallow. It just seems like a fun little aesthetic thing you can do, but this actually has a purpose, it seems. I'll try that. All right, what's... What's... I'm going to go up into the ship and look at what the current position of the Hollow's Lantern is. I mean, I can go back down and rest again. Let me look at the map right now. Do I, you want me to put my suit on? There we go. Okay, uh... It's getting there, but... Digital Brazil has two more routes to take, so we, we've got a little bit of time still. Six minutes is clearly not enough. I guess we can do this to just figure... So I can figure out exactly how long a cycle is. Just die, and then rest until I die. Alright. Those off. Again, this is the first time I'm actually making use of this mechanic. Alright, keep on sleeping. Give it, like, six more minutes. In reality, it's more like, uh... Go one, two, three. So, a, um, a second is past. Ten seconds is passing every second. Right. Works for me. Again, this is also the first time that this has actually felt helpful as well. So I think it's six minutes. It should be interloper should be on the way out. Um, or it should be way on the way back in for its final pass by the sun. Um inter does the Hollow's Lantern look any different? Uh, no, Interloper's on its final course now. Okay, if we're... If, if, this, if there's gonna be a time where we can go to Brittle's Hollow and Hollow's Lantern, this is gonna be it. There's no ifs, ands, or but about it. So this is probably gonna be about, about as good as we get. I mean, Interloper has a bit more time to travel, but... Not much. Hey, look, it's the Phantom Moon. How's it going? I mean, I still can't do anything with you, so, uh... Okay. 
Blast back off. Okay, so there is landing points. There's okay. Kind of. Um I don't I don't get inside the volcano where I saw the thing. Oh, that's different, distinct. Um, you're coming in hot, yeah. To a hot moon. Uh, I'm gonna land inside the one I want. Oh yeah, what is one of them just completely cooled down now? Doesn't shoot fireballs anymore, maybe? Ooh, not that one. Um... That one? Wait, no. Shit. This one. Yeah, that one. Okay, uh... Let's get in there. I guess I have to land and then fly up. On my jetpacks. We gotta... Okay, we gotta... Get in there. What? Okay. This is working. Probably. Okay. Um. I mean. Good enough. Get me out of here. And the ship goes away. And the ship goes away. Who cares? Um. Oh, this place does not actually have any. Oh, it has a little bit. Um. Location is now in hospitable evacuation recommended. Increased volcanic activity detected. Increased solar activity. Oh wait, increased solar activity detected. Um, this is no, don't shit. My ship is actually a little bit out of the way. Um, this is Timber Hearth. Wait, Timber Hearth. I don't think I've actually ever seen a Timber Hearth one before. Part of the Timber Hearth Mines, the last type of ore you send us survives the longest in direct heat. Uh, can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We are attempting to improve its durability, and our forge is already burned out through everything you sent. We'll deliver more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ashwind Project Protective Shell. Or crafting the Ashwind Project Protective Shell. Okay, the idea of encasing that, that's, of an encasement that's supernova proof, however briefly, has kindled my curiosity. My gratitude, I imagine we'll also have an updated. I think that's supernova proof. Huh? My grand I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon as how much ore is needed to seal off the Ashman project. We'll be more than we initially thought. We'll be significantly more. The smallest cracker opening in the protective shell will destroy everything. Alright, and this gives us what exactly? Yeah, we've been here before. In fact, this is where we first saw the, the, the heads that are partially active. Um anything else over there? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I guess we got it. This, uh, volcano was bigger. I looked smaller than I first thought. Uh, so I was trying to get him a person, but clearly the ship can come in here. Is, I, is that all that there is there is here? Um. I don't know. But hey, it's on the map now. Finally. Um. Get yeah, pull up out. Alright, that worked. Um, it doesn't look. I, it's uncovered more since I was in there. The only other thing is. There's that. This, this spiral part. This. This looks like it could be something. If I wait until very. Get, 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 not in it. There we go. Uh. Again, we can die here, I don't care. Ugh. Right here. Eh, there's something there. This looks like, it was the most obvious place for there to be something. Get down. We have to wait until the last possible moment. What is that? It's, um... A corpse? Um... Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, 
Have you, you having fun over there? Oh, uh, check on the interloper. Oh, interloper has just crashed into the sun. So we have about two or three minutes left. Come on, I mean, this is like the, the last thing. There could be something here. I, uh... No. Unfortunately not. Come on, there's gotta be something here, right? Come on. Please? Unless this is just supposed to be an Easter egg, in which case... Uh... Duh. Does it look like it's going down anymore? I don't know how fast this moves. This might just be an Easter egg. Lower. Oh well. I guess that's all that was here. Not much, but a little bit. Never saw that before. Lol, well, thanks. But this? I guess. Um, gotta check every nook and cranny, right? I mean, it was the only other place on this whole this whole little rock that looked like it could possibly have anything of some substance. All right. Well, considering the music's playing, I know that means I. And once the music's done, uh, thun's exploded. So, uh, let's jump in the lava. But uh, clearly there's nothing else there besides the, the guy giving the rock hands and a little bit of information about the Timber Hearth mining thing. I guess if you come here before you went to the Timber Hearth mining place, you'd be like, oh, wow, there's something there. Uh, one of the first places I went. Oh, yeah, I guess we slept. That's what all this blackness is. All right, I guess the only thing left is um, Giant Steep, huh? <sighs> Except for whatever the hell is in Dark Bramble, which I don't know how to get to. Um, but, um, that's going to be at the end, we're, we're coming to the, this is going to be the end of my stream. We're not going to Giant's Deep today. I'm, uh, we're at the, about the, about the four hour mark and that's how long I make my streams. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys for stopping by though. Uh, making great progress, I imagine. I don't know how much we left we have specifically. We still have the, the damn phantom uh, moon. I don't know. Uh, I don't know where and how long it's going to take for me to figure out how to do the phantom moon stuff. Um, we got some hints, I guess. They said the, the, the pilgrimage start is on giant steep, so I guess we're going to start that next time. And then assumably, hopefully, we figure out how to get to the, the, the extra the extra, um, the, uh, extra, the other, the other, the other, oh, hey, hey, it's Phantom Moon. Uh, the, uh, other escape pod and the main ship. Um, from Giant Steep. But that's, we'll, we'll figure that out next time. So with that, uh, again, I'll thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll be wishing you a nice evening, and bye-bye.